Hey gang, I like you here. Thanks for So do you watch my so in this book? I'm not sure many people watch my life. Um I think what's going on is defense is teaching a lot of the economic like both times. Casey is on more basic um, defense is a little harder to uh, to do well. Um, get frustrated. But I will keep grinding. Uh, I got a base review for you today. Uh, um, this is a base that was shared by for Agnac of Resistance Oz. I shared this a few days ago. I thought I'd try it out. Now Sir Agnac, if you haven't checked out his channel, I should definitely recommend you do so. Got some, always has good videos, uh, interesting takes. Um, I try to watch as much as I can. And this is a base that he shared. Now, and he, this was one he recommended using low level, right? Video put out, you know, use this if you're not going to get your eight legend league attacks in. Today, this base picks up a lot of one stars. So it's really meant for more just like maintain yourself in legend league. And that's not, I don't know. I wanted to see how this base would go to a higher level. So I'm going to give you two replays, and then I'll throw, you, I'll throw my stats, right? So I ran this base for two days with two main Town Hall 14 accounts. These aren't fully, fully developed Town Hall 14 accounts. We're getting there. And gang, I am experiencing a lot of lag. I have, I have this new new device that I've been playing on, and somehow the connection between my phone and the PC it, it's laggy. It's a lot laggier than my last device was. It's pretty frustrating, actually. I'm going to play this and figure something out. All right, so I have two replays for you. Uh, first up is it's an E-drag attack. I want you to see how this goes, because E-drags are popular. This is Ilva Chingo coming in. This is going to be a one-star. You can see that out there. Um, but, you know, E-drags are strong. But one thing you'll see about this base, and the reason it picks up a lot of one stars, is this base um, getting a, a Yeti blimp into the town hall is not enough alone to take out, right? Uh, because it's just it's not enough firepower. So you see here, like we get the Yeti blimp in there, even get the E drags and some loons into the core of the base, and pretty good drop with the blimp. But the town hall stands. And then you got the air sweeper pushing the E-Drags out of the way, uh, just creating havoc there for this attacker. And ultimately, these E-Drags, like once they go, they go. Like, yeah, they're very pretty when they go. Spectacular fight, but they don't do a whole heck of a lot of damage unless they're right on top of something. Um, so this ends up being a good, decent percentage, 75%, but a one star. One star, fantastic. I love the one star. Um, one thing that was interesting, so I, I ran I have 30 defenses against this base in Legend, all at the 5400 trophy level. All right, so this is not, that's not the level where Sir Agnac uh, recommending the space be used. Read this up. Um, but, it, you know, it's a little bit higher level. It's not as high as I would like to be. I'm trying to push myself into the, you know, 5500. I've been close. So it's not quite there. Uh, but, you know, we're close. And I have been at 5,400, um, so 5,434, 5,044, 5,050, and 5,470. So very close, right there. Just not quite over that hump into 5,500. Boom, today, nice, finish. Um, so I did notice that this base is three starred several times. I'll show you one of those now. And this one I want to show you is basically, this is my attack strategy. Right, this is the one I've been I've been pretty heavy. Uh, it's a queen charge into mass Yeti Swiss attack. Four quakes to help damage the town hall. Um, I actually like this attack. I still like this attack. I have been frustrated, but I've still been doing pretty well. Um, so some modifications here, and uh, Gustavo here is coming with uh, two extra Yetis and two extra super wizards, but one fewer healer and. No, no focal wounds. Stop. It was an interesting choice. Um, I was, I, I bring three or four, three. I usually bring three just to sort of heal out the black mark, especially. Um, but what the extra 
or not by not bringing those troops and bringing the extra Yetis, uh, Gustavo can set the funnel harder on the opposite side of the green charge. And that's that honestly, that's been my issue with this type of base running this type of attack. Where what would happen, like for me, is all my Yetis would walk basically to walk around from three o'clock to twelve o'clock, missing the core of the base. Uh, but Gustavo manages to get them in more previously. And the thing about this, you know, bases like this is once you take out all those defenses in the core, the cleanup, if you if you know if your queen survives with a couple healers, cleanup is easy because all she's gotta do is just walk around the perimeter and take out all those trashy buildings that aren't doing anything, aren't really shooting back. Alright, so you see here most of the core is down and the log launcher is just now popping the extra year. So, dang, I, I really apologize for the laggy effect here. I gotta, I gotta, I don't know what's going on. Um, I gotta fix it, but that's all I can say. All right, but you'll see here, so the core is pretty much done, except for that scatter shot. And I think these yetis here are actually gonna get that scatter shot down. And so then the queen still has her ability, still has healers on her. She's gonna clean up the space pretty easy. You got six archers with, like that. I'd probably bring a wizard in place of four of those. Um, okay, I'm just going to speed this up a little bit because all we're doing now is just clean up, right? It's, like I said, easy cleanup. Still got, yeah, a minute left here. All right, so now I'm getting frustrated with my. All right, so, but, but here we go. You see the easy cleanup. This is not a problem for the queen here. Uh, she knocks me off. Let's get into some stats. All right, so I told you I ran 30 defenses with this base. At the trophy level, it was 54. Um, I'll be between 54 and 5,500. Six three stars, right? So I was three stars six times. Who is Goby got me? Yeti Bowie got me. Queen Charge Hybrid got me. Like a smash got me. The, uh, the Queen Charge the Yeti Swizz that I just showed you with Bravo got me. And E drag got me one time, so that's yeah six three stars. Um, that that's a high three star base, which is probably why this base works better than the level. That's I mean twenty percent three star, right? So one out of five times being three star, not great. Um, you can see the seventeen two stars, right? That's that's okay. You know, like you, you two stars are fine. Oh, a lot of high percentage two stars. Um, what sells me on this base and what makes me think this base could work is those seven singles, right? The seven singles more than balance out three star attack base. Give me an overall average of twenty five point one trophies lost every time I was attacked. That's a pretty decent average. At fifty four hundred, honestly, twenty five, that's good. If my attacks were better, <laughs> if I could actually three star anybody, um I would be advancing. But because I've I'm not my attacks just um, I haven't been doing great, but for this base, I can work if you are at the lower levels, especially I think this is a solid base to use. I can recommend it there. Um, like I said, I, I'm considering continuing to use it at 5400 because it has performed well. All right, gang. Um, base, uh, base link will be in the description, and I thank you for watching me. I'll watch my video, and let me know how this base does for you. Uh, and again, I was like the trophy level, so you know, if you're above 5400. If you get actually into 5500, 5600, and try this space, let me let me know. You know, let me know how it performs. Bye, right, gang. I am LND, and thank you again for watching. Until next time.